Today's an impact day, and that is due to that threat for some severe weather later this morning. Probably we'll see it for inland areas closer to 5 and 6 o'clock and all the way to the coast by mid to late morning. And I'll track it out for you in future cast. Hardyville is where we're looking live. Already seeing that wind to pick up as a cold front is nearing our area. 71 south winds at 11 miles per hour. Tornado watch is in effect until 8 o'clock, only for two counties in our area, which is Montgomery, Toombs County. This is including uh, Vidalia, also uh, Cobb Town as well, and uh, also for Mount Vernon. You're under this uh, tornado watch until 8 o'clock, and uh, we may see this extended further to the east as we go throughout the uh, morning as that line nears our area. So there's a slight risk for severe weather as we go throughout the morning hours. And you can see right now, no rain across the area, just a little light rain there in northern parts of Montgomery and Toombs County, but the severe weather is still back off to our west, stretching off toward the east now of Macon, stretching south of Macon and just north of Albany. Along this line, this is where we can see maybe isolated tornado and also some gusty winds and heavy rain. This is going to move all the way to the coast as we go throughout the morning, so do expect to see some heavy rain. This could be a sloppy commute for some of us as you head to uh, work this morning. You see that line uh, that is from Augusta southward all the way toward the Panhandle of Florida. And it'll probably slow down a little bit as it nears the coast, as that front nears. So I do expect to see some lingering showers maybe up to about lunchtime, 1 o'clock at the latest. But we'll get this out of here. We'll actually, we'll see improving conditions, a little sunshine uh, later this afternoon. And so here are the impacts I'm expecting from uh, sunrise this morning all the way up to just maybe right before lunchtime today. We can see some showers and storms with some gusty winds. Temperatures for today will be in the low to mid 70s later this afternoon. And you can see those uh, impacts that we're going to see throughout the daytime today. Uh, this is including heavy rain, gusty winds. Also, there's that slight threat for severe thunderstorms uh, this morning. But the tornado threat for our area is definitely low. But we watch it. We'll be watching this out closely. Been noticing along that line there. There has been some tornado warnings that have been issued. And just like I showed you on live radar, this is that same line that we're watching. It'll continue near Vidalia, also Metter and Stakesburg there around 5 and 530. Up to places like uh, Hazelhurst, Baxley, 6 o'clock, and then nearing uh, play, uh, Reedsville, southward to Alma, Blackshear, nearing uh, Hinesville, Little Wissy there at 8 and 9 o'clock, all the way toward I-95. So if you live in Savannah in the low country, after sunrise this morning, before you see those showers and thunderstorms developing, look at this heavy rain. This is at 9 o'clock uh, later this morning. This is when we could see that threat for severe weather, even in Chatham County, Beaufort, Jasper uh, County is, would be the best timing for that. Mid-morning, most of the chance for severe weather begins to move off the coast by 10 and 11 o'clock. We'll continue seeing some showers and even a few thunderstorms there at 11, but the bulk of the rain moves off the coast just after lunchtime, and we'll see clearing skies as we go into the afternoon. So kind of give you an idea when you'll need that umbrella to tell you that threat for severe weather uh, along the coast will be closer to about 8, 9 o'clock, and then moving out uh, just before for lunchtime. Temperatures for today for the islands will be into the mid 70s. That threat for severe weather later this morning. After today, the big change is coming. 70 tomorrow will be a windy day with sunshine. Lots of sunshine Friday through the weekend. But look at those morning lows down in the mid 40s. That'll be chilly. Upper 60s for highs Friday and Saturday. 72 on Sunday. But the temperatures rebound just in time for early next week. Mid 70s by Monday near 80 by Tuesday. Uh, for the islands today, good chance for showers and thunderstorms this morning. 74 for highs. Gusty winds on Thursday and lots of sunshine Friday all the way through the weekend.